Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yasudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Today we will look at a fairly common problem, skin aging and fragility. What predisposes us to get thin skin? What is the mechanism and how can we prevent and treat it? In the medical literature, there are a variety of names for failure of different organs after a slow decline over time. Terms such as congestive cardiac failure, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, macular degeneration and osteoporosis reflect declining function in the heart, lungs, eyes and bones. However, the skin, the largest organ in the body, lacked a similar name. In 2007, therefore, Kaya and Saurat coined the term dermatoporosis to denote chronic cutaneous fragility of aging skin. The prevalence of dermatoporosis in the world is likely to increase as the population ages. Advancing age is naturally the most important risk factor for developing dermatoporosis. Secondary factors include chronic actinic damage, genetic predisposition, and long-term use of topical and systemic steroids. In one study, chronic renal failure increased the risk of dermatoporosis by five times. Patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease were also more likely to demonstrate senile purpura, but this may be due to the association of systemic steroids. Impaired mental status and nutritional compromise were identified as additional risk factors for dermatoporosis. What is the mechanism behind these skin changes? With age, the skin becomes thinner and less capable of withstanding mechanical forces. The keratinocytes, the cells in the top layer, lose their capacity to renew themselves. The second layer, the dermis, loses its volume. One of the principal constituents of the dermis is the extracellular matrix. And this is made up of hyaluronic acid, which decreases friction between collagen fibers. This reduces with age, making the skin more vulnerable to tears. Normal levels of hyaluronic acid interact with a receptor called CD44, which helps promote the health of the epidermis. Sunlight and steroid cream reduce CD44, and this explains why the skin becomes thin with these risk factors. The initial signs of skin fragility emerge around 60 years of age and become well established between 70 and 90 years. The thin skin of dermatoporosis may be nearly translucent, revealing prominence of the underlying veins and tendons. It is frequently found in sun-exposed areas of the extremities. Saurat and colleagues suggested a four-step staging system. In stage one, there's extreme thinning, senile purpura and pseudoscars. In stage two, in addition to the lesions found in stage one, some localized skin laceration is visible. In stage three, the lacerations become more numerous and larger and involve the whole surface of the extremities. Finally, in stage four, the advanced lesions result in dissecting hematomas. Let's look at all the clinical features in more detail. Senile purpura, also called solar or actinic purpura, occurs in stage one and manifests as violaceous patches on the forearms of older patients corresponding to extravasated blood cells in the dermis. It is non-blanchable and resolves over one to three weeks, similar to typical bruises, leaving residual brownish-yellow discoloration. On many occasions, they arise spontaneously, as a history of trauma is not always clear. Stellate pseudoscars occurs in about 30% between the ages of 70 and 90, and are more frequent in females. They occur mainly on the back of the forearms and hands, and clinically, they appear as whitish lesions that are star-shaped, linear, or plaque-like. Lacerations or skin tears occurs in stage 2 and 3 of dermatoporosis. This is caused by blunt trauma or spontaneous at times. Apart from age-related skin changes, dehydration, malnutrition, sensory changes, pharmacological therapies, and mechanical factors can play a role. Due to the delayed wound healing, it has a risk of soft tissue infections. Dissecting hematoma occurs in stage 4 and it's an emergency. It mostly affects the legs and older women. Risk factors are long-term treatment with systemic corticosteroids and anticoagulation. Deep dissecting hematoma presents with pain and swelling, erythema and edema without fever. Skin necrosis is a late symptom. Prevention of dermatoporosis is possible by limiting the exposure to known inducers of the skin condition, like extrinsic factors like ultraviolet light, pollution, smoking, and medical drugs like topical and systemic corticosteroids. Sun protection measures, including application of broad spectrum sunscreen, wearing long sleeves and pants, avoiding the midday sun, and participating in shade seeking behavior should be encouraged.
Popular and skin lacerations can be reduced by avoiding furniture with sharp edges. In one study, the use of clothes with sleeves, gentle skin cleansers, and the daily use of skin moisturizers reduced the number of skin tears from 18 per month to 8 per month after just 15 months. Treatment of dermatoporosis is best started in stage 1. Emollients can be recommended for epidermal barrier repair. Topical retinoids are the mainstay in reversing thin skin. Multiple studies report of improvement of skin atrophy after topical retinoids like tretinine was applied to the forearms and photo-aged skin of older adults. Alpha hydroxy acids twice a day for at least three months or topical dehydroepiandosterone 1% cream in women twice daily for four months may be beneficial. 5% or 12% lactic acid daily for three months can also be helpful. Topical vitamin C 5% improves purpura in one double-blind study. Lab-based research suggests that hyaluronic acid fragments could activate CD44 receptors resulting in thicker skin. This shows the importance of knowing the mechanism of diseases. In future, we could specifically target the molecules that cause the condition. Systemic treatment should also be recommended. With gentle nutrition, old adults should be encouraged to ingest adequate protein. Low protein intake is associated with decreased immune function, poor healing and increased skin fragility. Traditionally, the recommended daily protein intake is 0.8 mg per kg, but in adults older than 70 years of age, they should consume 1 gram per kg per day, with high amounts necessary to aid the healing wounds with the skin breakdown. Animal proteins like meat, poultry and seafood has the greatest biological value. One author suggested that eggs are the most cost-effective and valuable source of protein. In one randomized placebo controlled trial, increased hydration and reduced skin atrophy was observed after one year of oral dehydroepiandosterone 50 mg a day. In postmenopausal women, estrogen replacement is well established in the reversal of cutaneous atrophy. Finally, the simplest oral treatment is oral vitamin C at a dose of about 500 mg a day. There's ample evidence to suggest that this could be a pragmatic way of managing skin fragility. So in conclusion, we've looked at the concept of dermatoporosis or skin fragility that is seen particularly in the elderly. It's a unique clinical syndrome and further research should be undertaken to address its prevention, optimize its treatment and reduce its complications. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.